Hi, Sharon from Vivid Days. Today I'm going to explore the thing I fear most, acrylic fluid art. Give me resin, give me oils, give me acrylic. Normal painting, good. For some reason, give me some paints that you just put a little bit of stuff in it like water or Floetrol or whatever pouring medium it is. It scares me. But I'm filming this just in case it works out. And maybe I should sort of do a new channel for beginning stuff or if people don't appreciate, it's not my heart, sorry. The uh, sun is right in my eyes. Anyway, I'm going to use the uh, Arteza pouring acrylics. I think that's the right name, yeah. Once I purchased myself off Amazon, because I thought that maybe that'll build my confidence. And then I'm gonna watch Tammy Anderson and just research, research, research what she does, because I'd love to be able to do acrylic fluid art as well. I love doing all kinds of art. Anyway, I've got some leftover air fresheners from like room deodorizers in a glass jar. And I didn't want to throw them away. And I thought, well, what can I do? And I thought, you know what? Lisa Wyatt inspired me on one of her videos pouring over glass. So I thought, I'm going to have a go. I've got some mini glass vases and mini canvases. I'm going to have a go. And if I think it's okay or funny, I'll show you. And if not, nobody will ever know. But it's a beautiful day, so I'm sat out in the sun uh, and doing art out here, because as you know, when you're working with resin, you wear a mask, ventilator, everything like that, it's still chemicals. So it's nice to be out in the fresh air. But follow me on this journey. Fingers crossed that I produce something worth showing. If not, fits and giggles, eh? Anyway, Sharon, shut up. Let's get on with this. People want to see you create and hang out with you. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share. Ooh, the wind's blowing my camera now. Uh, comments are always welcome. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. And yeah, I'll see you on the other side. Bye. So I'm really struggling with having a table that's level on the grass. So that's why my pedigree chum was there and in the other box. And I think I'm going to break some rules because I don't know the rules. And I think the rules I'm going to break is I'm just going to pour different colours directly onto the glass and then see what happens. <laughs> Fun with Sharon. Should probably take that, shouldn't I, to hold it there. All right. Ultra Marine Blue. Silver. Forest green. Oh, already been in my bottle. So. Titanium white. Issues with the bottle tipping. Neon pink. Some cerise pink. I think a purple a lavender we're gonna go for now. And I am just going to blow this and hold it again. Ooh.
just going to drag it down with my finger. Now I understand why they put those little things on to twist them. I'm actually enjoying that. I think I just want a little bit of silver here. Oh Sharon, stop touching it, you're making it muddy. I need to find that silver. didn't think through is getting it off here onto here to stand. I might do it this way. So that's where I just popped it on one of these. All right, let's see if I can do anything, anything, anything with the paint on this canvas. We're in the shadow now, so I don't know if you're really going to be able to see this. Oh, no. I'll show you when they are dried, but yeah. I quite like this one. Not added anything. There's a lot of breakage in the colours. We'll see. We'll see how they go. All right, so I've just moved my other painting inside because midgets were on it. The other glass vase is now slowly drying so lots of learns i understand now why people put those things on unfortunately i don't have that and also um the need for multiple of these but this time i'm going to put some stuff oh this is going to be fun isn't it i'm going to put some stuff in a little cup but what i am going to do is start with a base of silver everywhere just to help it loop and, and move i think that's what lisa wyatt said she did with hers just to help it flow i think she did the same with primer canvas but what i might do is just rub it all over with my hands it flare <laughs> and then I'll go back and study some more of her videos this will be interesting because it's got all these little crevices in here is it actually going to so with these as well I found that this is not really it's not really been enjoying it so I don't know whether I need to do a reverse so I'll do it this way to start with and then pour it back down 
but we'll see how we go. This is all an experiment. I know that it's not going to be anything super sexy. We're going to put in this flip cup, Sharon. Well, start off with some lemon yellow. Sorry, people. I know you're probably cringing out there. All right. Lemon yellow. Brilliant red. Ultramarine blue. I think right. Neon purple. Rose pink. Oh, Sharon, what are you doing? Ooh. Go a little bit more white. I've been doing it this way, I don't know how. It's gonna come out. A little bit more forest green. I'm gonna be brave. Ooh, I'm probably using colours people would never use together. And now I want a little bit of something like a gold or a bronze. We yeah, have gold. A little bit more white. Alright, let's do this, Sharon. Gently. gonna do I'm loving this design I'm gonna have to pick it up so I'm gonna move it love what it's done here all right I'm gonna have to move this and let it continue dripping off elsewhere all right, I will take you in and show you that vase because I'm loving what it's doing have we produced anything noteworthy here? I think I preferred, I love that vase with the ripples, so I enjoyed that. I don't know if adding that silver helped it flow. I'm going to trust Lisa with what she said and it is. And, but I think I preferred controlling how much was on my canvas. And I think that'll come with experience, but for me, I'm not too sure this will be interesting because this is chunky so i think i might pour it at the top like so and then get it to uh, come on use your words sharon tip it over so then it should go under oh i've moved my, moved my thing i'll stand on there all right all right so i am going to turn it the opposite way around pour colours on it and then come back around the other way and if I do it in small small things where I add three colours then pour it and then add three colours pour it let's have a little look oh I have lavender in there things nice alright so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to flip this now, which is gonna throw this into weirdness, but I want it to go under there.
that for funky happy colors so the other vase that's settling it's gone quite muddy so i'm not liking that but i'm gonna just blow this off oh splat Oh, we are just going to be waiting. Oh, that's ruined all my funky, happy colours. All the happy colours have gone, but let's see what happens here. Just let it settle for a bit. Actually, no, I best transport it. really don't like that one in the corner i'm gonna do another dirty pour over top of it i don't know if you're allowed to do that or what but i'm gonna have a go what have i got to lose time a little bit of product but what i'm gonna gain is experience <laughs> <laughs> 